not proven, not proven guilty in other words. That's an interesting concept. Apparently in Scotland, that's an actual verdict that, that exists. Uh, I googled it, not proven guilty verdict, and here's just an excerpt. Uh, not proven is a verdict available to court in Scotland. Under Scots law, a criminal trial may end in one of three verdicts, one of a conviction, which would be guilty, and two of acquittal, which could be either not proven or not guilty. That makes a lot of sense. You know, uh, last night, my wife and I finished the 13th and then final installment of The Staircase on Netflix. And it reminds me a lot, of course, of To Make a Murder, Making a Murder on Netflix as well, where you get through watching all of this and what you can't know for sure is whether they actually murdered someone. But what you can know for sure is that they didn't get a fair trial in court. There wasn't enough actual evidence to convict them. There was false evidence, there was circumstantial evidence, but as far as knowing for a fact that they were guilty, the courts didn't do a good job of proving that they definitely were and end up sending men to prison. And what happens is because maybe their moral lives aren't up to par with what society wants them to be, that itself becomes a reason to go ahead and assume they're probably guilty. There's, yeah, that's kind of weird about their personal life. Yeah, surely they did. Let's go, let's go ahead and send them uh, to prison. Let's, let's do a guilty verdict. But it's interesting in both that and uh, making a murderer is that what would have made a lot of sense was not proven guilty. And after I've watched these documentaries and, and, and other ones as well, it really makes me wonder how many criminals aren't actually criminals and even now are spending years or the rest of their lives in prison for a crime they didn't actually commit. Maybe they were at the wrong place at the wrong time, circumstantial evidence, distractions from their personal life, it, the mob mentality that often happens or just depending on average people in a jury to decide someone's fate that aren't experts on that. The whole concept of the local police and everyone involved just wanting to get that verdict out of the way and move on so they can have, have it as another uh, case solved. You know, so it makes it too easy when you only have two options, guilty or not guilty. It, it forces people to make a decision, even guess, he's probably guilty. But unless you can definitely prove it, there's not proven guilty. And that makes a lot of sense, not proven. Before, like most of my life, I would have been the person that thought, man, eh, they're probably guilty because of this other stuff. But I think the older I get, the more I understand that things aren't as cut and dry as we want them to be morally. It's not that they're simply good people and bad people. Most people think that they're good people, but then other people would see them as bad people. So it's all relative. And it, I think it's harder to prove someone guilty. So it's easier just to go ahead and convict them that way. Even if we can't truly prove it, we can't prove their guilt. It's just an easier way to just to check it off and, and be done with it. Because there's, there's doubt there and doubt gets translated as guilt. So I'm very grateful that I spent so many hours watching these documentaries on Netflix, totally worth my time. and gives me a sense of compassion for all the people who right now are in prison for a crime which should have been not proven for, for the guilt. Instead, it was stamped as guilty. Compassion is what I have for those people. What are your thoughts on not proven?